Hi, this is Sachi from Sawmill Studio, and today we are going to put together the Cat Birdhouse Kit, which is one of my favorites. Here we go. So, you are going to get in your kit two side pieces. You are going to get a top and a bottom, and this is the back, and we have the front. Okay. You are also going to get a hardware kit. It'll come in a little bag, and it will have a perch and a whole bunch of nails and a piece of sandpaper. You are also going to need a hammer for this project and a little bit of glue. Any kind of glue, uh, regular white glue, tacky glue, or wood glue works just great. Now before we get started, we want to be safe. So first, if you're a child, you're going to need adult supervision to do this project and they should be watching the project, this video with you so that they know how to put it together. And you also need safety glasses to protect those eyes. And it helps to work on a hard surface because we'll be doing a lot of nailing. So if you have a bench, that's wonderful. Otherwise, a hard floor with a piece of plywood or some cardboard works wonderfully. So let's get started. We're gonna put these pieces together first, the two sides and the top and bottom. And there's a lot of knots in my pieces of wood here. And so we're going to avoid those as much as possible because they're just going to bend the nails and make us frustrated. Okay? So our first piece is going to go like this. A little hard to start the nails and have this whole thing standing up and staying put. So I like to start my nails right on the bench. Here we go. You want your nails to not be too close to the edges because that will split the wood, but you also don't want them too far in. And when you're starting your nails, you want to get them in just a little bit, but you don't want to nail into your bench or your floor because then it's really hard to get the piece of wood out. So here we go. Go up like this. And we're gonna line up the edges. This is a great time for that extra pair of hands to help you out. Get that grown up over here to help you hold this together while you get those nails in. Hammering works the best when you hit straight down onto that nail. If you tip your hammer, it makes it a lot harder. Now on this side, Looks like this nail is going to miss that knot for the most part, so we can leave it right there. Okay. Awesome. There we go. So there's that. Now we're going to flip it over. Going to put this one on. Now it's your choice if you want to start the nails here or back on the bench either way i'm going to start them up here but it kind of makes things move so i'm going to readjust and finish off there we go i'm going to stick a nail on this side next to just kind of help with alignment Another great task for that growing up. They can help hold this wood together while you do the fun part. Ooh. Now see, I kind of bent that nail a little bit. So, I'm going to straighten it out. If it was really bent and I needed to pull it out, you just use that hook on the back of your hammer, go like this, and you would just roll it. See how it's curved? You'd roll it towards you. Like that. Now if your nail gets really bent, Pick a new spot to start that nail so it doesn't bend again. And actually, that's a little bent. I'm going to take a spare nail and put it back in. And we're going to stick a second one. Okay, so most of it's put together going to put the back on next. Let's see, it's looking pretty good here, not too many knots, a little bit of a knot here, so I'm just not going to put any nails there. So here we go. Put 
two nails on each side. Knots up here, so I can put my nail down here and it should be fine. Let's find out. Ooh, it's a little hard. I'm actually going to scooch that nail down because that knot made that wood a little bit tricky. There we go. One more. Okay. Now we're going to flip this over. Put the front of my cat on. Let's see, we're gonna stick a nail, four more nails in. And I'm always checking for alignment, making sure my cat's pretty well lined up. But if it gets a little, a little off, no big deal. Hold that hammer in the middle too. Give you good power. Okay, look at that. Here's our lovely cat. Now you have some extra nails left over, so you could always go back and you could stick an extra one up here and down there if you want. If you want to use up all your nails, that's fine. Now I'm going to take my glue. Going to put some right here where the perch is gonna go. Take my little perch, tuck it in. I like to give it a gentle tap tap just to make sure it goes all the way down. And then your cat is almost done. Now we have taken a pencil and drawn in a cute little face. I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna make that face brighter. You can use any color you want. If you don't like the face we've drawn on there, you can take an eraser, just erase it and make your own awesome face for your cat. Here we go. I think this birdhouse is so cute. You can also paint this. I would use outdoor paint so that you can stick it outside and the paint will stay. Make it as colorful as you want. You could take a bunch of Sharpies have our beautiful birdhouse. Now you might want to take your sandpaper and you can work on those sharp edges so that it doesn't hurt you later on when you're putting it up in your yard. Okay, there you go. Cat birdhouse, all done. Thanks.